Welcome to the Man United stream. We've been telling you for days, Man United are very close on signing Maserawi, Delict and Manuel Ogarte. And we are now hearing Man United have booked in a medical for one of these players. Who could it be? Who's your bets on? Who are you hedging the bets on? Would it be Delict? Will it be Maserawi? Or will it be Manuel Ogarte? We're all left guessing which player is set for a medical this week at Man United. We're going to be discussing that lots more in today's show, so stick around, hit that like button on the video, and hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber to the Man United Stream channel. We've had breaking news in the last 24 hours that Man United have booked in a medical for a new player that's arriving at the club, but who could this player be? There's lots of speculation, it's Mazraoui, but there's some people also reporting that it could be Delict. That is a sign in that Man United want to get over the line have been working on the longest and want him done and there's some people outside chance saying that it could even be Manuel Ogarte but most people are saying it's one or the other from the Bayern Munich players it's either Delict or either it's Maserawi we've heard from a very reliable source that it is the Maserawi deal that is the easiest one for them to get over the line he's already agreed personal terms and the fee is the least from all the players that we're talking about here he's only worth about 15 to 17 million and that is quite an easy deal for Man United to get done um, even though they've not sold Van Bissaka there is talk that Van Bissaka could be out very soon there's uh, terms being agreed with West Ham and he could be a player that is sold before the transfer window closes but right now we are looking at Man United bringing in another right back another right back that can actually play left back and that's why he's so important to United's plans going forward because he's a player that could play both positions so if Luke Shaw's injured he could play as left back and if he needs to play right back he can continue playing right back so he's a very versatile player he can play in them positions and Aaron Van Bissaka there's lots of fans out there still not too happy about him leaving and we agree we agree Van Bissaka should stay at United we feel he's still good enough to be at the, this club um, selling him for 15 to 17 million or even 20 million it's just simply not good enough he's a top player and we can do better with him I think he, could, he should stay at the club let us know in the comments below what you think of Aaron Van Bissaka should he be staying at the club or should he be sold we've heard from plenty of fans already who seem to say that he is someone that they want at the club and they do not want United to make this huge mistake by selling Aaron Van Bissaka to another team for this much money Van Bissaka is still a very reliable right back but moving away from that let's talk about transfers coming in it's exciting times this week I mean this is what we've been waiting for now for a couple of weeks or more than a couple of weeks we've been talking about all the these three deals getting done we've been talking about Delict but then we've been talking about Maserawi we've been talking about Manuel Lagarde and then last couple of weeks it fell all into doubt we were talking about whether this is going to actually happen or have Man United completely stalled but it seems the 3-0 defeat against Liverpool has reignited Ineos and Man United and they're now going to go back out there and get these deals done and then we've got the small matter of the charity shield against Man City. The match against Man City is going to be huge. We're going to get to see whether Man United have got the fire firepower to actually do damage to these kind of teams. Are Man United on track to improve this season or are they just the same old with the same old injuries, same old problems and we're not going to get anything better this season. That is what we're looking for. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we see some actual potential. We see some players that can actually come in there and cook we are looking of course for Mena to kick on this season we're looking for Rashford to improve this season we're looking for Rasmus Hoyland to improve this season then we're hoping we are fingers crossed hoping that we get to see a new two centre-backs in this United squad if it's Delict and Euro next to Martinez we will be cooking the only issue we have is right wing but again we're hearing that Sancho is gonna stay at United if he wants to work hard he wants to show that he can make it at this club and wants to play that right wing position and we desperately need someone in that right wing position because Anthony has been a complete and utter flop that is it for today we're gonna keep you updated on all the transfer developments as 
as and when they happen so make sure you hit that like button but most importantly make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with everything that's kicking off you are watching the man united stream channel